Hi. Hi. Say hi hey. to everyone. It's been a while. I'm gonna pack all this up. So I figured today will be the day. <laughs> and then, and I gave no context, no nothing. So. But yeah, we're going on a cruise. Keep working on it. Keep pushing on. Hola, everyone. All right, let me see if I can. Hola, you guys, and welcome back to the vlog channel. It's a bit wonky. You guys are like on a wine bottle right now. Um, but hola, we're back. I'm trying to make me a coffee. Well, it's not a real coffee, but one of these things because I don't know how to work the like fancy coffee machine that's here. So yeah, I don't even know where to start. So the last time we spoke to you guys, we were, we've moved. I think that's the big one. The big one is that we've moved and um, we're currently in Melbourne. Uh, yeah, we're currently in Melbourne and, and we may or may not be moving here. It's like not a hundred percent yet. It's like, it's like 75% confirmed that we're moving here. I was actually meant to be going to a house inspection today, but I'm not going to make it. Well, both of us aren't going to make it. We didn't have time. So Ray's finished work and she's going straight to the inspection by herself. I'm, I don't know. I'll see the property later or she might FaceTime me while she's there. Let me move. All right, we'll just sit here for now. Um, I'm waiting for the kettle to boil and it's too loud if I like stay there to talk to you guys. But um, yeah, we've moved. Uh, currently living out of our suitcases. I might be going back home soon um, to Sydney. Um, I'm not too sure yet. I don't know if I'm going to go this week or if I'm going to go like sometime next week. Um, but there's like loose ends I need to go back and like and like sort out. Also, we're going on a holiday. Um which obviously you guys will see because we're picking up the camera again but yeah we're going on a cruise but it's not just us going uh, my little sisters are going sister-in-law my niece my nephew it's only a few of us but yeah we randomly booked it like the beginning of the year i want to say so yeah we're going on that and we'll show you guys when we're on the ship never been on a cruise before ray's never been on a cruise before so it's gonna be our first cruise and i'm excited so yeah going back to sydney um ray's still gonna be here living out of a suitcase Probably still from this apartment, um, but right now we're in Port Port Melbourne. I don't know, um, but I think so far that's everything. A lot of things has happened in between, like all that. But actually, there's still a couple bullet points. A couple big things did happen. Uh, majority of it's like family related. Um, but we welcomed two nieces into the family since last time we spoke to you guys. Our Ray's sister, Janita, had her wedding a couple weeks ago now. So Ray came back to Sydney for that. And then I flew back here last Saturday. We did like a whole bunch of inspections. We saw about four houses. We had seven lined up, but we only made it to four. If you follow my mom or not, I don't know. Um, my parents left the country um, but now they're back in the country. We're partly the reason mum and dad came back. I don't know if mum said that online. I'm, I'm not too sure. But we're partly the reason. Because we left Sydney. Um, like, I take care of a lot of stuff at home. Um, I was also the one looking after the family home. Yeah, so that's kind of the reason why. Is because if it's not me running it, it has to be mum and dad running it. But yeah, I think that's it for now. And we'll talk to you guys. I'm not too sure, but if it's not today, it will definitely be tomorrow. Level six. So this is how gloomy it is today, if you can see all that. Apparently this is typical Melbourne weather. Uh, over there is Melbourne City. So we're just like on the outskirts. And then just there is um, Port Melbourne Beach. So yeah, this is where we're at. Um, let's do a little apartment tour, hotel tour, I don't know. Um, and this is, I mean, it's only going to be two seconds, but whatever. Um, this is the little kitchenette area. Um, this is the room Ray and I sleep in, bathroom. And then this is the second bedroom. And as you can tell, it's like currently our closet. And then yeah, a little lounge room. All right, you guys. So now it's like much later, same day. Ray's home, if you can hear her. She's on like a work call. We're going to dinner now and I can't wait. 
we're both hungry we're both starving we haven't eaten today we thought we'll utilize like Ray being home early even though it's like seven o'clock now usually she comes back home like later so still early one number two we're starving i tried to find us a steak place to go to but i wasn't successful so so we settled on um seafood i think we're going to the boiling crab or the crabby boil or something i don't know i couldn't find a decent steak place that was kind of nearby or maybe i just don't know where to look i don't know it's like 20 minutes from us so I figure we'll go there check it out and then for perfume i'm wearing this um red temptation this is from zara this smells amazing apparently it's a dupe for the what is it buckler rouge or something that really expensive like perfume this is like a cheaper more affordable alternative i think this bottle was like 55 65 bucks but compared to that bottle being like 300 dollars, yeah i'll take the cheaper one every time but anyways yeah we're gonna go and I'll show you guys the food once we get there. Look who's home. Hi. <laughs> hi. Say hi hey. everyone. It's been a while. Right, no, it's been a while, guys. I mean, I wanna give you so much energy, eh? The truth of the matter is, I still got a bit of energy, but it's only to eat. Right. Oi, oi, oi. Last night I came home from dinner and you know I was a bit tipsy. Yeah. But I read the first six pages and man, blew me away because it's like you just gotta read it. If you're going through changes in life, this is really good. Who moved my keys? Do you have the car keys? Yeah, I got the keys. I got the house keys. Let's go. Um, we, we think we found their Chinatown. Yeah. My, oh, we found it. The what? The side. Sydney could never. Do <laughs> you traitor? Shut up. <laughs> All right, we're here, you guys. Boiling crab. Are you happy? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. The everything bag or something. Yeah, all in bag. Yeah, the all in bag. $39. Yes, yeah, so they're kind of affordable. To be honest, this will only feed Ray. <laughs> um, but we got but other we things. We got other things, that's why. Right. Can I just say, Melbourne has been the best experience for me for food. Their standard of their food level. Mm -hmm. Even the island shop. Oh yeah, you guys, we went to, where do we go? Um, hibiscus. Hibiscus. That place? Oh, it was so good. It lived up to the hype, didn't it, Ray? Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're going to go dig Wait. into this. I'll Wait, show you the show rest. I'm going to show you how to you know, made a commitment now. No matter how tired we are, we still give that 20%, you know? <laughs> you get home, your, your eyes are about to drop out because you're so tired. It's all about giving that 20%. And my am show you This is different from what I'm used to at kicking in. You don't like it? No, it's different. This is a fresh. I was honestly yeah. expecting the smaller yeah. ones. Oh, Melvin, you did it again. Yeah. <laughs> Have the last one, babe. No, no. This is like straight up Cajun. Right, never mind. It's been so good, like, it's been different. Like Melbourne? Yeah. Yeah, should bang scallops with rice. And then I just got lemon pepper wings. And that's everything. All right, you guys, we're gonna go eat. Say bye, my honey. All right, you guys, now we're home. Um. Boiling crab was okay. What do you think about boiling crab? Yeah, I mean, it was good to try it. Yeah. It was just the sauce; it wasn't for me. Yeah, I think I think I give it like a like a six mm. out of ten. But anyways, got done there. We went to Coles on the way home because there's a Coles like up the road from where we're at. Um, I got a couple things. We're very limited, so a lot of things that we get is like. Like meals you can throw in the microwave and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I don't know how I feel about using the pots and the pans that are here. I don't know. But a quick haul of what we got. We just got a Coke, an apple juice, cheese and onion chips. Um, got some Turkish bread, Caesar salad, a six pack of custard tarts. Some of these, some of these travel pies. We got butter. Um, got some notepads. I've been needing to like write things down, like jot things down, but... There's no paper here, so I picked those up. 
Got some ham, tuna pasta, and then a beef lasagna. And that's basically everything. Anyways, but yeah, I wanna pack all this up and then, I don't know, get ready for bed. We've been having early nights lately. Um, and we've been into watching Sheldon on Netflix in bed. So we might do that again today. We might check in with you guys again tomorrow. Look at this. <laughs> uh, I woke up this morning and, um, you know, I just thought it was really cute. The one sock off the leg. I love you, my sweetheart. Although you're in a deep sleep, I love you so much. I give you some kisses now. Hola, it's me again. What is it? So it's like the next day. It's actually quite late. It is almost 10 p.m. Today I did a lot of admin stuff. Also the noise you can hear in the background, it's the dryer going off um, because I'm currently packing. Um, I've been doing like laundry throughout the day because we're moving hotels and we're going to the next one. So the plan is to pack everything up, load it all in the car tonight. A few things are gonna be left out because we still need to use them, like toiletries and stuff. And then, um, yeah, so that's what I gotta to do tonight. Uh, Ray's already passed out. Um, we went to sushi tonight, that was good. So yeah, Ray's taking the car to work tomorrow with all the stuff in the car. And then I am going to Uber over to the next hotel tomorrow. So this is like, so I've started on like the kitchen. Those two bags have like all the stuff we have like in the pantry. I still need to empty this. I mean, I mean, it's not much, but I still need to empty that. And then I need to sort that situation out. So these are all the suitcases we have. And then there's one over there. And then this one, um, <laughs> shoes and stuff. Thank God I got us these um, packing cubes. I got them off Amazon. They make packing a breeze. I used to think like people over exaggerated packing cubes, but no, like they're like magic in the suitcase. Um, and then in here, there's just like toiletries. I still need to pull the stuff out of the shower. Um, and then that's, that's the last loaded there. But yeah, that's everything I have to do. I think it will take me like maybe an hour to like pack everything up. But yeah, I don't know, that's a little update. I'm gonna charge my phone and put some music on and then get to work. And good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, so let's check out time. I think I have like, it's like 9.30. So I have like half an hour to check out. Yeah, last night, obviously I packed everything up. This room is done. We never use this bed. So that's the last of our stuff. Um, I took out all our rubbish and then I have um, the dishwasher on. So now I'm gonna leave um, and head to the next hotel. I don't know, I think, I'll, I think I'm think i gonna grab lunch. Um, Bray's gonna meet me at the next hotel. Um, so we can like check in together and then she's gonna go back to work. All right, you guys, so now we've checked in um, to the next hotel. I'll quickly show you guys. So a king bed, um, a little desk area, TV, kitchen area, fridge, sink, kettle, toaster, microwave, little closet. That's all our luggage that I lugged up. Then the bathroom, standard toilet sink, um, and shower. But yeah, that's the room. But yeah, now I need to go and do some stuff for trips. I need to book a couple things. So I want to do that, unpack a few things. And then I might go to Woolies to work out some kind of dinner situation because Woolies is literally like right next to this hotel. Oh, I even got things from Kmart. I'll show you guys. So I got us a deck of cards. Um, I was meant to bring one when I came, but I forgot. Packet of pens. Um, this notebook, because... I got like little notepads last night, but they're like way too small. This was like two bucks. <laughs> um, more hoops, cause you can never have too much. And then all I got were um, these collapsible hangers. We're going on a cruise and I don't know if they have hangers. So just in case I want to hang like, I don't know, like raise nicer clothes. And that's everything I got. Hola everyone. Hola from the room so i just had dinner Ray wasn't hungry she had a late lunch she had a hold out at where did you go to eat saint berg's saint 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 berg's saint berg's mm. that place is so good i think it's like a it's like a filipino maybe not but they have like a dobo shaker fries anyways they're so so good we went for a hold out 
When was it? Last Saturday or the Saturday before? <laughs> I'm kidding. Can I tell my story right? I had to That's come fine. in, check in the hotel for Sharon and then run back to work. You know, I had to leave work up because we were oh. homeless for four hours. <laughs> well, she was whilst I was at work because we had to check out of the hotel this morning in Port Melbourne. Yeah. And then check into the this hotel one. we're currently in now. At two. Also... Mm. I don't know if I said, but the reason for our move, I don't think I even mentioned it, is because Ray got a promotion and a transfer here. I don't think I mentioned it. Like, I just said, oh, we're in Melbourne. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's all I said. For work purposes, right? Yeah, that's the reason we're in Melbourne. For me, like, it was easy. You know, if work said to move to China or, or you know, India or anywhere in the world, I would move. Because, I, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't a hard decision for me. For Sharon, it probably is. Well, no, no. Okay. So the day Ray called me and she told me, she was like, well, da-da-da spoke to me about the possibility of X, Y, and Z, but it's in Melbourne. It was an automatic yes. I didn't even, there was no, I didn't get any details about anything. She didn't tell me too much about it. Like if Ray can progress in her career, then it's, it's a yes, you know? Um, it's not can. It's when. <laughs> you claim that, sis. Sharon's been in Melbourne for what, a week now. She'll be flying back to Sydney because... Probably next week. I've been staying in and out of hotels for the past, what, six weeks? Hey, babe. When I was flying into Melbourne the first time, it was meant to be just two days with me and my team leader and... We were coming for a project that we we're working on. The week prior to flying out to Melbourne, I got asked, um, you know, to do uh, it, what if, you know, and straight away I already will, was like excited and that. It's not an easy job either, but anyways, so I flew out to Melbourne two days and I ended up at the Crown with... Um, Oh, you guys, she got hammered. Yeah, I, she was getting shouted Long Island. Well, I didn't know what Long Islands were. Yeah, as Like, soon as I've she heard said, of the drink, right? As soon as she said Long Island to me, I was like, okay, that explains Yeah, I it. heard of the drink. It's like, oh, it's just a cocktail, you know? I think we were, like, seven Long Islands deep. And then I go, I go, what's in this drink? I really like it. And then it was like, oh, it's like four shots. When he told me what was in the drink, that's when I became drunk. Yeah, that's Prior to knowing what was in the drink, I was absolutely fine. <laughs> that just tells you that that's a mental thing, right? You can't you can't really tell when Ray's... I can tell, obviously, because I know her. Yeah, but for the can't... most part, you can't tell when she's, like, off her face and wasted. I slur, a little but bit. I've become very, like, composed, I believe. Like, I feel like I come... Yeah, she, she gets quiet. She wasn't always like that, but now she is. That's how I know Ray's drunk. When me and Sharon first started out, like, six years ago... Ray was sloppy when like, she was Like, six drunk. years ago, I was a bit messy. No, you I were the messy. Sl <laughs> sloppy. Yeah, but, like, I was a wreck. But I'm not a wreck anymore. Now but she yeah. can... Now she holds her shit together. It's called growth. It's called old age. It's called growth. And that too. Wisdom. It's not old age, it's wisdom. Mm -mm. How things played out in the last eight months, it's like... Wow. Last October, right, I was planning to leave. I, I went for a job interview and I was like looking. I got so heartbroken, I got knocked back. Remember? And it wasn't even for a position. Oh, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Approached and it her. wasn't even a position that, you know, was hard. Three months after that, I got a promotion. And then six months after that, I got another promotion. And so strong believing everything happens for a reason and not to freaking sound like I'm gloating or boasting. The move, our move from our house, we were meant to move last year, end of last year. Mm -hmm. Then it got delayed to February and I was like mm -hmm. a time ticking bomb with this one. And I was like, um, um, and then anyways, we were like, oh, look, we'll just stay there, you know. Blah, so blah. long story short, we were supposed to move. And so many things got in the way of this move. Like, I can't even tell you. We were supposed to move in, like, I think October, September or October. No, actually, June or July Last of the year. year before, yeah. we were supposed to move. And so many things got in the way of that move. It got delayed by, like, two months. It got delayed by three months. It got delayed another month. And then month. I got over and I said, we're not moving, right? And then yeah. something was like, no, let's move. we got to move. Three months after moving back home, 
well not even three months two months or whatever anyways three months moving out of our house to move back to mum and dad's house because mum and dad went to new zealand yeah we, i was i'm sentenced to look after the house <laughs> yeah and then how things work out that bang like um you know a promotion happens and then it's just like if we were locked down to a house we it would have have been as easy as uplifting to come to melbourne so that's where i'm coming back to like everything happens for a reason and you know it was like last year my path was there already set for melbourne this year true babe true yeah now let Mm. Anyways, yeah, that's my short story long. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we've been good, guys. I've been good. Damn, I was supposed to book my flight to Cook Island. So after this, I'm gonna go book. I'm gonna go book my flight to Cook Island. Yeah. So I need to cancel an Airbnb and rebook a different Airbnb now because I'm now going to Cook Island. Mm. Whilst she um, goes to Cook Island, I, I'm going to still be here, all right, guys? Whilst Jaren's living her life I up there. I told you. No, no, I know. Oh, so yeah. we're going on a cruise as well. Like, see, that's... I think I mentioned it yeah. briefly somewhere, somewhere in this vlog. I don't know. But, yeah, we're going on a 10-day cruise. After we come back from the cruise, I come back to Melbourne. Yep. And then Sharon will go to Cook Island. And then I think I'm going to stay home for a week. Well, in Sydney. Yeah, yeah so, I don't think I'm going to go So straight. technically, me and Sharon are going to be living apart for... Um, no, because, it's not the end of the year. Yeah, I want to be free. <laughs> <laughs> Tell I me how grateful... You. So why say that then? You want to be alone, boogie or... Because it's a joke. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't think I want to go Cook Island straight away. Mum and Dad are going to... Cook Island three days after we get back. I don't think I want to go straight away. I think I'm going to wait a week because there's still stuff at home I need to like sort out and square away. And then I'll go Cook Island for two weeks, go back to Sydney, and then I think I'll come back after that. So me and Ray will be apart for And like then three life weeks. begins. <laughs> oh, you guys, there's so much we need to do. Um, oh, we might, we might have an apartment secured maybe we're like praying 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 how many inspections have we got tomorrow babe um like three we're still doing inspections just in case just in case we get a no we're getting everything again from scratch tv i, lounge, I don't mind fridge. like getting ikea furniture because you know i'm not too invested in buying expensive stuff oh we're not buying yeah that's one thing we're not doing this time all right you guys dinner time we got we got burger tori. So we got mozzarella sticks, onion rings. I got donut fries because they're my favorite. Mm -hmm. Wings. We got this burger. What'd you get me? It's got a pride burger. Lettuce, tomato, something, something, something. Fries, wings, and then just a drink. But this is dinner. We're just we're just sitting downstairs eating. Um. So there's an update today. We got approved on a house. So yeah, Ray got the yes for that today. We put down the bond today. I think she gets the keys on Thursday. Also this Friday in Melbourne, I think it's only in Melbourne. It's a public holiday, apparently. I think it's for football, a AFL or something. I don't know you guys, I don't, I don't follow sports like that. So yeah, I've been kind of like sorting things out for that. Power and gas needs to be turned on. I think I'll do that tomorrow to set it up for Thursday. Um, I'm making a list for Bunnings because I want to get cleaning supplies. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. Hold on. Is that better? That's better. Is that better? Oh, that's another thing I need to do. Actually, I should, after this, I'll do it. I need to book our um, transfer for the cruise. I think that's literally the last thing I need to do. And then that wraps up all that cruise stuff. So I've done my clothes. I done an Amazon shop. I booked our travel insurance. We did like all our COVID kind of stuff. What else? I got my passport done because my passport actually expired um, during lockdown. Oh, I'm also gonna start working on a list for like house stuff. But yeah, I think that's it. I just wanted to come on to like update you guys to let you know what's going on. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Um, if or when we go to dinner, I might bring you guys with me. If not, you guys will probably stay home. I don't know. I really want to sit and like catch up with Ray and have a have a nice dinner and just like yeah, it's been how do I say it? it's been a really heavy heavy couple weeks. I'll just say that. 
relationships are just a work in progress you know you just gotta good morning good morning everyone hola say good morning my honey morning we're about to leave we're up we're ready oh yesterday we got keys House our keys. property keys and my new car and Ray got a new car. So that's what's been going on since we've been off the camera. We'll go? Yep. Now we need to leave because we need to go to Bunnings to get some stuff for the house. Um, and then we gotta go look at like things, like things for the house, like a fridge and all that kind of stuff. Have you showed them your luggage? Yeah. This is our luggage line up. Have two for that. All right guys, we'll see you guys um, later along, along the way. Alright you guys, we finished from Bunnings. I'll show you guys what we got later, but anyways. Is it here? Now we're at Lazy Moe's. Shout out to Weezy putting us on. So we're gonna have, what are we gonna do honey, breakfast? I don't know, all I know is I want breakfast. We're gonna order and then I'll show you guys what we get. Breakfast is here. The big breakfast. Yeah. Scrambled egg, sausage, bacon, tomato. And then I got a side of mushroom sauce because I heard it's really good. Yeah. This is Ray's. She got eggs better day like she always does. And then I got a large orange juice. Alright, we finished eating and now I'm struggling to breathe. So the copyright. Some more music. Okay. But now we're going to where are we going, honey? Port Melbourne. But now we're going back to Port Melbourne and then after that, try to hit up like a good guys or a or a Bingley or something. I've already ordered us a bed. So that should be coming like sometime during the week. Please drive. Yeah, we'll see you guys a bit a bit later. You guys have found the fridge. This is the fridge. Sharon found it online and I'm I'm a Samsung um You're a Samsung snob. <laughs> snob. I was saying to Sharon, oh, because I was actually like, oh the fridge's not here, I'll go for this one. Yeah. I just love Samsung, but we've had this fridge before. Yeah, but we've, like we've had it without the water dispenser, and I'm not a fan mm -hmm. of the layout. Yeah. So this one, at least we get two drawers, yeah. which is beneficial, mm -hmm. and it doesn't look like a nil cheaper like, um, you know, water <laughs> also, canister. Also, that price is it, it is pricey, but yeah. it's more on the affordable side in terms of these kind of fridges with like dispensers. This one also obviously doesn't require plumbing. I like it being matte. Um, are we gonna look at washers and dryers? Well, we lock in the fridge first. We're gonna do it all in one because right, so we that. can get more money off if we do it yeah. all in one. We're trying to do one big shop because Washer and it'll dryer. be easier and hopefully they can like knock off shipping or get it all delivered at once and pay one price instead of a million prices. For shampoo for? Yeah. So it's six fabric care so it's all the sense. This is a dryer, honey. Bracket. Is that? Oh, these are the ones you looked at ages ago, remember, honey? Well, it's too big. Yeah, I know. And it's also um, too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is perfect front load washer. It fits. I can see it fitting. Wait, what's the... Oh, it's eight kilo. Yeah. That means the dryer needs to be at least eight kilo or seven point five kilo. I want these two to be the same. No, this only six kilo. You need bigger than that. All right, toast and kettle. So this is the one we have now. If I'm being honest, I'm not a fan. I never was a fan. Ray picked these for our house, so oh yeah. Yeah. That's a big ass toaster. They don't have a smaller one. Oh, that's so nice. The yeah, kettle. I like it. Matte black. It goes with the fridge. Yeah, it does. Do and they have that in like a two? Like yeah, a two slice one. That is, and it's so big. No, I like it. But it's huge. I know. Can we okay with that? <laughs> well, it's better than what we did. We spent 500 the last time. You picked that last time, not me. But this is what I want. Oh, can we get an air fryer? You no. Know when you like I, something? I love that. Yeah. So, I mean, get your toaster. Okay, cool. But can we get an air fryer? You guys, I've never, we've never owned an air fryer. Oh, Matt Black. No, that price too. No. Yeah, me. No. Smokes aren't even the best. Like, the toast pops out onto the bench, no. For that price, no. Anyways, you guys, like I was saying, we've never owned an air fryer. This is the one I was looking at. This one. It's a double. So we have like meat in one and like veg in the other. Oh, nice. Well, all I know is that I want it to be double. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so, I'm so fucking excited. No, but is that all we gotta get? No, no. So kettle, toaster, yeah. microwave. Mm. 
Ninja, air fryer, and we got the fridge, washing machine, dryer. That's a big purchase, babe. Yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> What's this? That's an air fryer. That's an air fryer grill. But we should get a sandwich press. Yeah, no. But an uh, air wok, sorry. That's what was. We need to get one today. Oh, uh, so we can cook something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we should get a rice cooker too. Yeah, please. So we can have rice, finally. All right, you guys, we'll check in later. I'll show you guys what we grab when we get home um yeah um i never thought i would say this but i think i'm sick of shopping <laughs> all right you guys so now we finished from the good guys yeah so now we're in here trying to find a couch and i think this is the last big piece for a bit because yeah the bank account's taken a, a hit so i think we need to chill after this all right you guys <laughs> oh we found the couch We've actually owned this couch before, eh, my honey? Four yeah. Years ago. Four five years ago. Years oh, yeah, five years ago we bought this for like two and a half. It's a bit more now. Inflation. Yeah, inflation has taken up about a thousand bucks. But yeah, we love this couch. The best couch. I it's such a good couch, yeah. yeah. And it's quite firm, it's quite stable. And oh, not, let's. Not a light base, you know? Yeah, it can hold a lot of weight. Yeah. This thing here is like a day bed, it's like deep. Like, we take naps. Yeah, we can both fit on it. Yeah. I, I bought this already a bit four years ago, five four. years ago. Yeah. But it's in Sydney and I'm moving to Melbourne, so. Oh, wait. Can I drive? Yeah. Alright, dessert break. Do you want one, honey? Yeah. So we got, what are these called? Lock and Mart. I don't know, you guys. So we got these with Nutella and hazelnut. We got slushy and a can of Coke. Alright, we'll see you guys at home.